All right, so this is kind of an addendum to the that last section that was uh, diffusion and diffusion. I want to talk about these two things. So diffusion occurs when a gas sample is introduced into a larger volume and the gas particles spread to occupy the entire volume mixing with the other gases that are present. So the rate of diffusion depends on the temperature, the mass of the particle, and the collisions with other particles. The mean free path of a particle is the average distance traveled between collisions and is related to the pressure of the gas particles. Graham's law of effusion, well, effusion is the escape of gas molecules through a tiny hole into a vacuum without collisions. So Graham's law of effusion is derived from the root mean square speed, which states that the ratio of the rates of effusion of two gases is equal to the square root of the inverse. So effectively, Graham's law of effusion is derived from the root mean square speed, which states the ratio of the yeah, effusion of two gases is equal to the, roots, or the square root of the inverse right. ratio of the molar masses. So, I would think so root too. mean squared of gas one divided by root mean squared velocity like, of um, gas two is equal to the square like root of molar mass of two over molar mass like, one. Okay, so calculate the relative effusion rates of helium and oxygen. <laughs> so, how do you start with a problem like this? Well, Effectively, we can say R of helium divided by R of O2 is equal to, well, the square root of the molar mass of gas number two, which is O2. So MO2 divided by molar mass of MHE, <clears throat> that's equal to, well, 32 divided by four. Okay, so what ultimately this means is 2.83 divided by 1, because you could take the square root of each one of these and ultimately solve that. So what that means is the relative effusion rates of helium and oxygen, well, it's 2.83 to 1. So helium atoms, to kind of sum this up, helium atoms are going to fuse at a rate that is 2.83 times faster than the rate or the effusion rate of oxygen molecules. Okay, so think about that. Helium effuses faster than oxygen. Helium atoms are, li are, are lighter than oxygen molecules. All right, so this last practice problem that I wanna do for this is a gas known to have a formula of N O sub X was found to effuse at a rate that is 0.834 times the rate of effusion of oxygen. Okay, determine A, the molar mass of N sub O or N O sub X, and what is the value of that X? So basically, this is asking for uh, B, are we talking about N O? Are we talking about N O2, N O3? What, are, what gas are we talking about here? Okay, so what we have is R sub N O X over R O2. Okay, that is equal to the square root of M O sub 2 or sub O2 uh, versus molar mass of N O X. Okay. Now, the value for that happens to be, well, that 0.834. So where do we use that value? We use that value whenever we are trying to solve for M N O sub X. So we need to rearrange this equation. We can rearrange it to be M N O sub X is equal to the square root of molar mass of O2 divided by R NOx divided by R O2. This is the value, this right here, we have as 0.834. So now we can rewrite this as the square root of, well, 32 divided by 0.834. 
0.834. And I'm sorry, the last thing that we need to do is we need to square this and therefore we need to square this. And so that gives us ultimately when we plug that all in, the square root of 32 divided by 0.834, and you square that whole thing, that gives us 46 grams per mole. Now, the question is, so that solved for part A, basically. Now, part B is, well, is it NO, NO2, NO3, NO, so on? Well, you have 46, you subtract the molar mass of nitrogen, which is 14, and you're left with 32. Oxygen is 16 grams per mole each. So 32 divided by 16 equals 2. So that means that we are talking about NO2. All right. This is a little bit tricky of a problem. There's quite a bit involved there, but this is kind of, I would argue that this is maybe one of the more difficult sorts of problems that you'll see from this chapter. Um, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next chunk.